Also, answer my previous question. What value do you bring? What do you bring to the table, <laughs> Molly? That's what he wants to know. Bring a lot to the table. Oh my God, where do we even start? Okay. Um, Try to be brief because I want to brief. come back okay. to the... Um, I think I'm happy. funny. I have a really great sense of humor. I also make a good amount of money, so I'm not going to like leech off you. Um, I care about the way that I look, and I'm very supportive. Okay, so the first two you mentioned, when, as far as what you bring to the table in a romantic relationship, you bring funny and money. Yeah. Do you, do you think that the, <laughs> do you think guys are particularly, particularly preoccupied with the money you bring and the humor that you bring? Um, I think when you're looking for a genuine relationship, those two things are really important. And money, you guys might disagree with me, but for me personally, I'll make this quick, but for me personally, being financially stable in a relationship is very important. It brings a sense of security. Um, to you? To me and to the fact that, so that like- you're not bringing anything to the table. Yeah, I am. Well, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't affect, that, that affects how you feel in the yeah, relationship, yeah, yeah. but not necessarily who, who how people Who should pay on the, the first date? Who the man. Pay? Oh, so your money means nothing. <laughs> not on the first date. I have to like you to spend my money on you. Okay, what, you, how long have you been dating your the boyfriend? The mental gymnast. Six months. S six months. What, do you spend money on your current boyfriend? Yeah, I do. Okay. Like um, I bought him like a whole new wardrobe to match my stuff for Instagram and I spent like, well, the stuff was on sale, but I think, think I spent like 1300 on it. Okay, that's a fair amount of money. And I take him out to dinner all the time. That's, that's cool. However, what I would say is while you might bring your money to the relationship, I would argue most women are not, br like even if you make good money, in the same way that you just said, the guy should pay for the first date. Yeah. Like most women, the, they're not, most women do not share their resources with men this, the same way that men share their resources with women. Yeah. So it's like, cool, you make a lot of money. You're not gonna pay for the first date. We're gonna, we're gonna have to be three months deep in the relationship for me to potentially even reap any mm -hmm. benefits of your wealth, which might not even manifest, because there's even women who are high earners that still don't want to like, they're either gonna want to do 50-50, do you guys have 50-50? Um, we don't really talk about it like that, it's, it's just kind of like Do you guys flows. live together? Yeah. Do do you, you, does he pay for the rent, do you pay for the rent? We split it in half, do he you has mind? one okay. room and I have another room. Do you mind me asking what his occupation is? Um, yeah, so he does OnlyFans too. He also is a glass dealer and he deals Pokemon cards. Okay. Um, okay, that's what you bring to the table. Um, I'm not, it's not clear to me if like most men are, again, particularly preoccupied with a woman's humor or the money she brings to a relationship. If they're not, then I don't like them. Well, it's just like, We're okay. just talking about most men. Like from, so okay. like, yeah, so for you, that might not be true, but like for the plurality of men, they're, those are not the things they're so looking for. So what is the ideal thing that most men are looking for? Do you want to go first? I mean, it is a feminine woman who wants to stand behind their man and support him in his mission. So when I go on a first date, I want to know, okay, well, if I'm on a first date, I will be attracted to them right off the bat. Um, but I want to know, so their values, is their goal to be a, well, one, godly woman, but do they want to support my mission? And that being raise a family, uh, grow together, so that's grow together in godliness, as well as just emotional maturity, maturity in general, how we navigate the world. So I like to look at it as uh, I will provide the house and she will make it a home. So I agree with that. To add on to that, I would say that um, I agree with everything you said. Okay. I don't, I wouldn't say like a godly woman is well, who I am. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> I don't expect you to. Yeah. But no, I, I agree that all of those things. Beaten Cheeks donated $99. Gentlemen, stay away from high IQ girls such as Molly here. She literally doesn't bring what men value most. Peace at home, femininity, not be fat and respectful. Men do not care about your money or education. Men, avoid these types. This feminist is an L. In defense of Molly, yes. she's not fat. Thank and you. Also yeah. in defense, just because you have an education doesn't mean you have a high IQ. I actually don't have an education. I didn't go to college at all. Yeah. And I well, finished high school on my own. I know, yeah. Kind of, kind of based. Kind of. What does that mean? 
It's top secret. We can't. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> we can't disclose that. Um, thank you, Bean Cheeks, very much. Appreciate it. Um, but, but no, what I was going to say is, I think that the fact that I have these high, unrealistic standards for men that most men don't like, I think that's kind of my screening process for men and a way to protect myself from men who want things for me that I don't want to give them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're allowed to have those preferences, but are they ideal? Like, an ideal in whose mind? They're ideal for me. No, 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 I'm not saying like. I'm saying, okay, let me use the word optimal. So, if we're going for a healthy relationship down the road, what are the qualities you want to see in a man? What are the qualities I want to see yeah. in a man? Um, emotional maturity. I want to see patience. Um, and they have to be kinky. Wait, Nick, did we hide one of the? Did, did one of these get hidden? The one of the no, yellow no. ones. Because uh, we were trying to close at the same time. Uh, I showed the last yellow and the last ten dollar ones. No, but we might have been clicking close at the same time, and we might have closed one of the. No, you're not going to find it that way. Um, yeah, go on, go on. So with your yeah, point. yeah, yeah. So I, I guess the so you want patience, uh, emotional maturity, and kinky. Yeah. Um, what I would I would say you're missing a large majority of what makes a good man. So uh, I, I base this in my beliefs, but you see this play out in real life. The, the man can be patient and he can be emotionally mature, but he can also not be a leader, not be a provider, protector, and those relationships will probably fizzle out because he might be patient, and that patience can also just be he doesn't want like confrontation. He could wait, just say... Wait, what you, he, I don't he, think he could on, just... No. Wait, what do you... Well, oh, sorry. That's the wrong one, then. Sorry, technical difficulties. Uh... Yeah, he, he could just, I mean, the patience could just be ma the insecurity masquerading as patience. And emotional maturity could just be he's not secure enough in his masculinity to voice opinions. So you're saying the traits that I have named create the ultimate bitch boy? It definitely uh, skews in that direction. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 